Hey everyone, myself Pavna. Welcome to Sunny Coaching Classes. If you are searching for the GRE, then hold on. I am going to solve all of your queries regarding the GRE. What is GRE? What is the conducting authority of GRE? And what is its syllabus? What is eligibility? What is the age limit? And uh, there are different types of GRE. I will cover all of them. And uh, what is the exam pattern? exam duration and i will try to cover all of the doubts which a student have uh, whenever he or she search for the gre exam uh, one thing i would like to mention over there if you are a graduate student and you want to pursue in post graduation from uh, international university foreign university and you want to go abroad for your studies then th this video is definitely for you and uh, i will try to cover all of the points that you need to know about gre so let's get started with the video let's start so first of all if you want to pursue for the gre exam then uh, you need to know that there are two types of GRE exam. One is the GRE subject test and one is the GRE general test. So GRE general test and GRE subject test. Uh, the GRE general test is a, uh, as the name suggests, it's a general exam. And uh, most of the students pursue uh, and opt for this course and opt for this type of uh, GRE. And uh, it is conducted all over the year and even you can choose the date of examination as per your convenience for GRE general test. And while the GRE subject test involves physics, chemistry, biology, literature, mainly English, math, psychology and if you want to pursue in a specific field like as I have mentioned, if you want to pursue in any field under uh, these courses, then you have to take the GRE subject test. So GRE general test and GRE subject test. The GRE uh, subject test, you can opt for GRE subject test if you want to pursue in some specialized course and uh, this is conducted at specific time and, uh, and specific date like any other entrance exam age limit there is no age limit mentioned uh, so there is no official notification regarding the age limit i have not found that and uh, uh, there is a eligibility so if you want to go for postgraduate program under the international university uh, then you must have the, your graduation degree from well recognized uh, college or university and uh, with a good CGPA, with a good marks and if you have then you can opt for and then you can start your preparation for the GRE exam. First of all you have to decide you want to pursue in GN, GRE uh, subject test or GRE general test because the syllabus exam pattern will be according to that. You have to specify. Uh, most of students I already uh, suggested that most of students uh, go for the GRE general test and in this video I will cover regarding the GRE general test uh, what is the exam pattern for it. So let's get started with the exam pattern. So for GRE uh, general test, the syllabus is divided into the three sections and the exam pattern is accordingly. Uh, and one thing more, GRE is both paper based and computer based. But for uh, if you are in India and you are an Indian student, then uh, there is only computer based test. Paper based test is for the other countries where the internet facilities are not available or something like that. But uh, uh, for India, there is only computer based GRE examination and uh, we are covering according to the GRE computer based examination point of view. So let's get back to our topic that is GRE general test is divided into the three subsections and uh, the exam pattern is accordingly. I am going to tell you about that. So the exam pattern is involves the analytical writing section which is to analyze the issue task and analyze an argument task. Number of questions uh, there will be one analyze an issue and one analyze an argument task so one plus one pattern is there and time is 60 minutes 30 minutes per task as i already uh, told that two tasks are there and 30 minutes for each task so 60 minutes overall second section is verbal reasoning section which is basically to test your vocabulary and you have to build up your vocabulary if it's not so it includes the reading, comprehension, text, 
completion sentence uh, equivalence etc and uh, it uh, involves the number of questions 20 plus 20 it means two sections will be there and 20 sections uh, 20 questions from each section and total time again 60 minutes 30 minutes for each section the third part is gre quantitative reasoning quantitative comparison questions multiple choice questions and numerical entry questions will be included in this subsection and uh, there will be 20 plus 20 pattern two sections with 20 questions per section and uh, a lot of time is 70 minutes 35 minutes per section so this is a lot of time and further subsections of gre general test if you want to pursue in gre general test you must be knowing what are the three subsections and you must check the syllabus it is uh, mentioned in their official website and you have to uh, study accordingly to that topic and even you can uh, check some uh, sample questions for that so that you can test your uh, uh, means mentality and uh, at what level you are there and you uh, how much you need to prepare more but uh, how much amount you should add in it to get a good rank uh, now we are moving to the next section that what is the good rank in gre so gre exam is of 340 marks and uh, 300 plus marks are considered a good score but 320 plus marks are considered the best score for gre if you are uh, scoring less than 300 marks then that's not a good score and i don't think that you will be able to get a, a good university or a, your desired university uh, so you have to uh, score 320 plus marks at least uh, you should uh, set our goal of uh, getting the 320 or 330 340 marks so that you can have a good score and uh, i really wish that uh, you get a good university and especially your desired one let's get start with the new section uh, our new section of this video is uh, what are the countries uh, which countries accept the gre and uh, which universities are under gre so there are many countries uh, which are under uh, which accept gre and there are many universities which accept gre and even there are many indian universities which get admission which give admission to the postgraduate programs under gre so let me show you the list of countries there are many uh, good universe good countries like usa uh, i will show you the all one just wait for a second so the countries which accept gre is united states united state territories argentia armenia australia uh, bangladesh belgium brazil canada china cyprus egypt France and there are many more I am already showing you the list India Indonesia Iran Israel Italy Korea Liberia Peru there is a full-fledged list for that and uh, there are many universities which accept uh, this GRA actually mainly the uh, USA United States of America most of universities of uh, USA give admission to various programs under GRE so if you are planning for USA then GRE is a good choice for you but not only USA as I already mentioned there are many other universities which give admissions uh, under the GRE so top universities in GRE you might be searching for it that is MIT Stanford Harvard University Boston University Dartmouth University uh, Harvard University Boston Ohio State University Strayer University University of Michigan University of Hartford University of Maryland University of New Haven Mm, and many other uni Yale University and many others uh, you can see the list for that uh, one thing more what are the benefits of GRE uh, graduate record examination is a uh, opportunity for the students who want to uh, do their masters or PhD programs from foreign university and uh, there are many universities which accept GRE and offer scholarships to the students so uh, if you want to study abroad the the main problem the Indian face that the fee structure the fee structure the there is very uh, huge amount of fees that student can't afford right so if you 
get the scholarship under this program then uh, the problem of paying fees will be solved and you will be able to study under the well rated and in fact the top universities of the world uh, under this GRE program and uh, and if your dream is to settle in the foreign university then again this is the best option for you you will be able to study and get a scholarship and the, and then the main benefit is that if you will uh, if you clear the exam uh, you will get the admission you will uh, will do the graduate post graduation or phd programs and then you will there are bright chances that you will get a uh, scholarships and you will settle over there with a good uh, job like uh, most of the indians go to the other uh, countries foreign countries will do the job and that the job is of a low scale like a labor class job that but if you will uh, study from foreign country then there are bright chances that you will get a job of a good level and the pay scale is of high level and uh, your lifestyle will be better and you will uh, maybe you will get a PR permanent residence of that particular country if you will become a good citizen right if you study over their country and uh, uh, and uh, follow all the rules and guidelines of the country then definitely you can get the pr and uh, you can uh, means have your future and your further generations over there in the next uh, in the that particular country and uh, that's the i think main benefits of giving the gre exam now what is the cost for giving the gre uh, every time you want to appear in GRE, you have to pay for 205 US dollars. 205 US dollars is the fees for giving the GRE exam. And uh, this uh, GRE, uh, your score in GRE is valid for the five years. You can give GRE five times in a year. After 21 days, you can appear for the GRE exam. And uh, uh, we are discussing about the GRE general test. So as I already mentioned that you can uh, uh, select any date. You can give this exam anytime. And uh, you just have to uh, start your preparation for the exam. Uh, first of all, get all the information regarding GRE. And I really hope that I have cleared all of your queries regarding this exam. And uh, next, uh, you have to search for the syllabus, sample questions. Uh, what is the level of questions that are being asked in this exam? And and the most importantly just to select which type of GRE is best for you because it's totally up to your choice you want to uh, go for any specialized field then you have to go for GRE subject test if you want to go not for any specialized field but other than that then the GRE general test is there and uh, I have already uh, cleared your doubts regarding the good score which is mainly uh, main query of any student whenever he or she starts for this uh, preparation of this exam and uh, what is its uh, cost and eligibility age limit I have cleared all of your doubts I think uh, if you still have left any query then you can mention in the comment box Sunny Coaching Classes is, is channel provides very informative videos not only about the international universities but also for the national and state universities if you are searching for uh, other medical and non-medical entrance exam then you can just have a look of this uh, videos uploaded uh, in this uh, the channel and uh, please like comment subscribe and share among your friends bye bye see you in the next video bye bye good luck